Video website YouTube emerged victorious Thursday from a long-standing legal skirmish with media company Viacom. Viacom initially filed a lawsuit against YouTube in 2007 for copyright infringement, seeking $1 billion in damages. The TV company argued YouTube knowingly allowed users to post copyrighted content to their site. But a U.S. District Court judge threw that case out in 2010, ruling that YouTube was not responsible for infringement committed by its users. Sources report the same judge's most recent decision was based on his 2010 ruling, which favored YouTube. At the heart of the issue is the safe harbor provision of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA. According to The Hollywood Reporter, safe harbor is afforded to websites responding expeditiously to takedown demands. The writer adds, despite Viacom's arguments that YouTube ignored red flags and refused to institute protocol to filter copyright infringing works, the judge said that statutory protections required more on Viacom's end. So maybe skirmish is an overstatement. This is the second time Viacom has been shot down in court by the same judge. Not only that, but the Los Angeles Times reports the judge ordered Viacom to pay some of YouTube's costs. And what's an open wound without a little salt to pour in? YouTube founder Chad Hurley added plenty of sodium chloride when he tweeted this to Viacom's chief. Hey, Philippe, want to grab a beer to celebrate? YouTube again beats Viacom's massive copyright infringement lawsuit. Ironically enough, the Wall Street Journal reports a number of Viacom units, including Paramount Pictures and Comedy Central, have entered into deals to create channels on YouTube. Sources say Viacom vowed Thursday to appeal once again. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.